All right, here we are. We've got a couple of fun things added to the game. The game Wraith Binder that you're witnessing. Check it out. You can fall off the edge, but only if you push against the edge. So if I'm just like walking along the edge like this, I'm like sort of like at an angle. It takes a second before it allows you to fall, fall off. Even if I walk at it straight on, it takes a second for me to push off there. I need to do some kind of animation where he's like sort of like pushing against an edge. That'll make it look really cool. And then also we've got this, um, levitation. So you can levitate now. I've got this ability where you press the button and you're basically levitating for a second. Like, check it out. You can sit here and just hover around. Or you can move. So you can got this, this like hovering Z velocity going on. And check it out. You can even like land on stuff. So let's see if we can make this landing here. Oh! Right? Oh, that was, I just used blink there. No, wait, what's that? Oh, maybe I did use the hover, levitate. So um, there's one big problem with it right now, and that is that um, you can land inside the pillars and the walls. So if you go over here, you can like, you're like oh, I'm stuck, I'm in the walls. So I've got to improve the collision detection system. It's currently, it does do 3D collision detection, but it's not doing the detection for when it moves the entity on the Z axis. So it's just using, um, uh, it's not even checking for collisions when it's doing the Z movement. Well, that was weird. So pretty excited to have this fun stuff in here. Let's try it out really quick with some other players, some bots. I haven't taught them how to use the levitate yet, but let's see what it's like in battle a little bit. Um, right now, every player has like every ability. Um, so, but the plan is to make it so that you have to pick up items to gain the abilities. Um, like you find the blink orb and you can now blink. Or you find a levitate something and you can levitate. Um, same thing with grenades and the ghost sword. It's kind of cool to levitate away from battles. There's going to be a couple other items too. Um, yeah, and then also lots of damage altering or, whoa, that was crazy. Because <laughs> I was up in the air, I got a crazy velocity off that. Oh! Did I just fall off twice in a row there? That was crazy. Same thing. I got hit knocked back a lot because, um, because when you're in the air, you don't have any friction. So I need to work on... Uh, how how big the the knockbacks are? They, they not, might need a lot of like maybe oh if you're knockbacked and you already have a if you're in the air already, it'll like limit it the amount you can. Oh, let's see if we can have, levitate over this. Whoa! Oh, I never got it. Oh, am I stuck? That was crazy. Okay, let's see if we can lev levitate over that. Oh, that was weird. Oh no! See, um, there's also a ter there, there's a two dimensional terrain. I don't know why this green is turning blue. This is cool though. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, the the uh, collision detection for movement, like on the Z plane, I was just as I was just saying, it's kind of um, the the actual ter it, it's based on terrain height, which is two D. So I need to also make. Once I go to a completely collision detection, a 3D collision detection system, I won't need the terrain height anymore. So, for example, this might be like about 100Z right now. And as we go down these stairs, it's maybe down to 60 or 80Z. And then if you fall off, you get down to 0Z. And those are all terrain heights, right? So I got I to gotta get rid of that whole two-dimensional terrain height system. So that also you would be able to have like another platform on top of this one at some point. Like uh, like the, these little points right here, where you've got these jutting out bits. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I had God mode on. <laughs> these jutting out bits, right? Currently, there's nothing underneath this. If I fall off, you can see the, there's nothing underneath here, so I can just fall off there. Um, but if we had a three, like a completely three-dimensional collision detection system, we could have like a bridge right here, possibly, or maybe a secret bridge, something like that. 
So that's one thing to be done with this whole new um, levitation and falling system. I really like it. It's really adding a new, a fresh element to the game. And also it's really fun to be able to knock other players off the edge. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Boom. Oh, what's up? Oh, is invincibility on? Why couldn't I hurt that guy? Oh, invincibility was on. All right, we got to find somebody near an edge. I don't know if this is going to happen. Oh wait, maybe you can knock, can you knock a ghost off the edge? Oh dude. Got hit hard there. Oh, almost. I know it's possible. I was just doing it while I was debugging. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. Yep. Whoa. Oh, can we make it back? Oh, oh, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, so this is definitely adding a really fun element to the to uh to Wraithbinder. Loving it. Thanks for watching this video.